for having a mixed grab bag, but definitely cool temperatures, Jimbo. Definitely cool out there now, but uh, heat wave on the way. That's, That's right, heat wave. <laughs> That's great news. It is. Well, and, <clears throat> you know, at Precision, you guys can help with all things skiing and snowboarding. You yeah, and I was, I was thinking this morning, what uh, what's the one single item that would really help just about any skier or rider out there? And uh, sort of like building a house, you know, if you start foundation? with the foundation. The essential you know, things. Uh, the one thing, although we are all so very, very different as we plot around this planet, one thing that we all share somewhat is uh, somewhere close to 26 little, little tiny chicken bones inside each of our feet. That's amazing. And, Professor uh, Jimbo is in the house. And they're all different. They're all different, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, one of the things that uh, uh, comes in a ski boot is uh, a foot shape for you to, uh, to stand on when you try on or put on your ski boots. Right, but, you but know, like you were saying, everybody is different here. Right, so uh, you know, the idea is to get a foundation beneath your foot that, that not only feels good, but it does a whole bunch of different things for you. Right, so not only does it provide support, warmth, which is crucial, yep. and it can really um, kind of change your, your uh, positioning, right? Without, without a doubt, you know, you don't have to buckle your boots as tight. That's nice. You know, so you have a lot more uh, stability, mm -hmm. a lot better communication with your skis or your snowboard. So then more control, too. Hopefully, yeah, that would be great, <laughs> wouldn't it? So what do we have here? You know, a lot of different insoles that, uh, that we make mm -hmm. uh, and have available at Precision. Mm -hmm. uh, some insoles are called trim to fits. Okay. And it's built around uh, normal foot pr uh, proportions. This one's uh, designed for a narrower foot. Okay. But that it has a, a built-in arch area here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then a heel cupping area that gives you some good shock absorption. Uh, uh, for your weight standing on the uh, on your skis or, or board. Good to know. And uh, you know some some of the uh, the insoles even have a uh, uh, little rubber material on the bottom to help absorb some of the shock. So uh, you oh. know for starters we've got uh, uh, an assortment of different trim to fit insoles that are easy to put in. Mm. Uh, it just takes a moment or two to to cut them to okay. the exact size. This looks. I mean, this is easy. This is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And okay. the, uh, the next step up mm -hmm. is uh, what, are, what we call a uh, semi-custom. It's okay. built around average foot proportions, and mm -hmm. it usually has a little feature like this wedge right mm -hmm. here can be moved to uh, oh. some different positions and different thicknesses. To The bottom of it kind of reminds me of like running shoes a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, some of the insoles are good for shoes. Uh, ah, so they're you know, multi-use. Because they, use. they flex, yeah. Okay. Even uh, this one, which is a custom insole built mm -hmm. around one person's uh, specific foot mold, right? Right. Okay. That it can be used in a telly boot, hiking boot, uh, uh, snowboard. So these uh, go a lot further than just skiing and snowboarding. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that we did design for uh, uh, alpine ski boots, they don't flex as much. They have a lot of support built I've underneath them. I've seen these them. before. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they're all molded around each individual foot. It's like if you could imagine taking your footprint from the beach right. in the sand and putting it in your ski boot and, uh, you know, realizing what the benefits of that are would be great. You know, I mean, you have a lot better communication with your skis or board. Uh, your foot actually becomes a little smaller mm -hmm. by virtue of the support under the under your arch. Interesting. It becomes narrower, takes up less room in, inside the, the boot, and uh, you have less fatigue at the end of the day. It's all, all very good news. Yes, and very scientific. Who knew? Now we all know. We even have a new one. We were talking about this. That this is, is cool. covered with wool. Mm -hmm. It's called a woolly, and it's very, very warm. It's called a woolly. I like yeah. that. <laughs> and it's warm. Yeah, gotta love, gotta without love a wool. doubt. They've really come a long way when it comes to all of these um, insoles and everything, and yeah. all these fun colors too. These are are these foam that you use. These are for? different uh, uh, posting materials that we put on the bottom of the insole. Oh. Uh, if you feel these, some are stiffer this and really some are stiff. softer. Mm -hmm. The yellow one's very very soft oh. and pliable. Cushy. Blues in the middle. Oh, all right. I like cushy. Cushy. Yeah. Cushy's comfortable. <laughs> but what a great way to uh, improve anybody skiing or riding out on the slope. And it's an easy thing to do. Like it mm -hmm. doesn't take up a ton of time or a ton of money. It's, it's an easy thing to do.
Yes, well, ma'am. Good to know. Where where can people find you? So well, let's see. We're in Frisco on okay. Summit Boulevard, uh, across from the Walmart complex. Excellent. Well, Jimbo. I don't know what else we need to tell everybody, but they need to know that it is easy to make your feet more comfortable. And you can take these not only in your ski and snow boots, but you can take them elsewhere. Running shoes, hiking shoes. I'm wearing a pair right now. Look at that. How about that? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Mind blown. Well, Jimbo, thanks for joining me this morning. It's thanks always good to have me. you here and Stay good to see you. Stay warm out there. And folks, we'll be back with more Summit Sunrise right after this. Don't go anywhere.